Yo, welcome back everybody to Brain Peace Officer video, and today I'm going to be showing off my Obstagoon squad deck, utilizing three different Obstagoons in one deck that all come together to create a fun strategy. Each Obstagoon do different and unique things, and it's a pretty interesting idea, combining all three together, and uh, this is the list I've come up with here. Before I get the video, I do want to give a quick shout out to my second YouTube channel. Yes, I have created a second channel for extra content that I really don't post on my main channel. Stuff like top fives or tier list videos or really any extra content that I wouldn't put on here, especially stuff like even stream VODs and stream highlights. So it's just extra LDF content. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, link down below. Go subscribe to the channel, please. It'd be awesome to get a little, get a little community grown on that channel. Um, so link will be down below to my second YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, this is the Obstagoon list I'm using. Three different Obstagoons in one deck, of course. Wicked Ruler is really cool. Force your opponent to discard cards from their hand until they have four. Really cool against Lost Zone decks or any deck that try to keep a big hand. And then, of course, we have the Merciless Strike and Silence Obstagoon. Silence can be kind of cool against those one attack Pokemon. Something like Gudra comes to mind. You can shut off Rolling Iron. And then Merciless Strike does one for 150. And then we got Glaring Obstagoon with Untamed Shout. Being able to evolve it and put three damage on your opponent's Pokemon can fix the math. But also, you have Obstruct, which is 90, and then during your turn, prevent all damage done to Obstagoon from basic Pokemon. And there are a lot of basic Pokemon out there that you can shut off with Obstruct, especially on the ladder. And uh, when there's a lot of things on the ladder, Obstagoon can be pretty annoying to play against when you're up against Reggie or Lunar Rock, or even Lost Box can be decent too, because I do play one copy of Big Parasol in the deck to help us a little bit against Sableye. So yeah, from the record show to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get your codes over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern Delso codes online for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set codes, like the main set Lost Origin, but with Silver Tempest just around the corner, Silver Tempest comes out on Thursday for PDCGO, and when Card Cabin's gotten them Silver Tempest codes in stock, you can get your Silver Tempest codes at Card Cabin, and if you pick up any codes at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up a Card Cabin. So shout out to Card Cabin, check them out, and be sure to use code LDF. Yeah, shout out to the Shovel Squad, of course, if you are not subscribed to them, make sure to subscribe down below. Every Monday, I do post a new video on their channel. And every Thursday, a new podcast episode goes live. In our most recent podcast episode, we had Zapdos TCG on. So if you're into podcasts, it'd be great appreciate if you went ahead and maybe showed our pod some support. And uh, let's take a look at the Obstagoon list. Yeah, this is the Obstagoon list I'm rocking with here. It's a pretty interesting concept. Again, there's a lot of niche plays you can make with these Obstagoons, especially the Obstruct one, being able to do 90 damage and prevent all... Uh, Damage done to it by basic Pokemon is really good. When there's a lot of basics on the ladder and out in the format, it can be really annoying to play against. The 30 damage from Untamed Shout is very good. When you combine that with Galarian Zigzagoon's 10 damage, it actually combines really well for Charizard's damage output. Of course, Charizard does 250 and can attack for one Cullis for each prize your opponent's taken. So kind of in the later part of the game, it can hit really hard. And with the Obstagoon, you don't really need Choice Ball. I mean, you do want to use Choice Ball. I need to play one of them, but... It does just means you don't need to find Choice Ball this easily because you can just go Rare Candy Obstagoon or set up damage down the road through Untamed Shout. Sometimes you can use Untamed Shout to knock out low HP Pokemon, which can be kind of cool. There's a lot of niche uses for the ability of Obstagoon. But again, Obstruct could just be annoying to play against. But yeah, the Charizard is kind of the 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 focal point-ish of the deck. Well, not the focal point, but kind of like the big swing in the deck, mainly because it is kind of the backbone of the deck. Uh, a lot of the games you're going to win is because you do have that big heavy hitter Charizard in the deck and that is what this deck kind of revolves around is using the goons early on and then kind of coming in with Charizard in the later part of the game there is a Clara and a Rod and a Palpat in the deck to try to use it of course with the Italian engine here um, I am playing quick shooting very important to play quick shooting with Merciless Strike Ops to goon as it is 150 if you play quick shooting then uh, you can activate Merciless Strike because the opponent already has to have damage on their active of course with Galarian Goon you can get there but it just makes it easier uh, I am playing a Snorlax for the setup with Gormandize um, I got two Cynthia, one Clara, one Marnie, two Boss, one Raihan, one Roxanne for supporters. Um, kind of everything else is bog standard. Again, the Paracel is mainly here for the Sableye matchup, so you can use Obstruct with a Paracel on and make it harder for them. And um, we've got four Darks, two Fires, and one Twin. Twin Energy is really nice with either Radiant Charizard or the other uh, Knuckle Impact Obstagoon. I almost said Uckle Impact, Knuckle Impact Obstagoon. All right, without further ado, let's go show off this Office Goon deck and see if we can uh, get some dubs. All right, trying out the Goon deck here. What do we got in this match? We open up with Goon and Manaphy. We do have Candy in our hand alongside Obstagoon, but no other real play. No Sobbles into Drizzles. We're up against Palkia, too, it looks like. Okay, Palkia is actually pretty scary if that's where we're playing against. Yeah, it's Palkia. We do Sobble, though. So that's a good top deck. That might help us, though. Want the pass. I actually don't want to lose Manaphy. We do have Clara, Rod, Palpat, but 
Yeah, losing Manaphy might be a little problematic, so we do definitely want to watch out for that. See what my opponent does here. Probably just going to go keep calling, I imagine. This matchup is tough, man. Palkia is scary, mainly because it just does so... Yeah, going through three Palkias definitely is it's tough. So I can go Rare Candy Ops to Goon. I think we're going to go ahead and do this. We'll grab this guy. We will level ball for... Probably another Goon. I could try to KO the active. No way I'm going to get net, though. I'm just going to ping the Palkia. I could do Cynthia. It's tempting. It's very tempting to play Cynthia here. And just try to high roll the Obstagoon. Try to high roll, like, a attack. I don't think I'm going to be worth it, though. Though I don't want to lose Manaphy, because then they get Greninja. But I'm going to have to just pass here. I maybe should have held on to the Rare Candy Obstagoon. But this forced them to have, like, a boss or cross switcher. They do have four Sobbles, though. So... Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Which is kind of scary. So we'll see what they end up doing here. My opponent does have a pretty big hand potentially to work with. They got Quick Ball. Okay. Is that going to get Radiant Greninja? That's my question. Is that going to grab them Radiant Greninja? I'm wondering. I only got two waters. All right. No Radiant Greninja, maybe? Maybe. You know, there's a Quick Ball. Could that get them Radiant Greninja? Because I imagine they're going to get it. No, I... Oh, it's Ice Rider Palkia. Okay. Still beatable. It's a little bit more scarier. If they're playing Path to... Yeah, they have Path. That's going to be tough. I don't know if they're going to get a prize this turn. We need them to knock my Manaphy out, though. We need them to kill the mana fee. Oh, they have Intellion they can attack with, which isn't bad. I guess I can one-shot with Merciless Strike with a Goon Ping. It's not too bad. Hmm. We'll see what they grab with this. They might be able to knock out my Obsta Goon here. So, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have been Rickany Obsta Goon so aggressively there. Maybe, looking back, it wasn't the greatest idea. But if they, like, Marnie me, right, we just kind of have it. We need to get more Sobbles in play, too. I think our objective is knock out Palkia, and knock out Ice Rider, knock out a Drizzle slash Inteleon or Sobble. We'll see if we can try to pull that off. Yeah, we'll see if we can pull that off. Might be tough. Might be tough. Yeah, there's Evil Wind Sense. Are they just chaining Drizzles or are they going to grab Palkia finally? Because I think they wanted to get the Ice Rider down, obviously. But are they chaining drizzles, though? It's a question. And that's what I want to know. Are they chaining the drizzles here? I mean, they could put four drizzles down. I don't know if that really does much for my opponent, though. Unless they have, like, two shady dealings and quick shooting. And attach Ice Rider. I don't know if we're getting an attack this turn. If they don't take a knockout. I would love to kill the drizzle here. I can't do that, though. Not with this current hand. I kind of need to just wait for them to kill me. They're going to go Ice Rider. Interesting. Okay. What do we draw? Okay. I guess I can net the mana fee and I can merciless strike. I would love to hit them for 150 here. Just get the damage on them now. I have to get net though to do this. I don't know if I want to waste a scoop of net though. I guess we're going to have to. I need an energy though too. They're probably going to boss the Obstagoon next turn, though. It's like my one chance. All right, we're going to high roll it. We just need to find energy here. Only four card draw with Cynthia. If we find energy, we can attack. Can we do it? We do. Nice. Another Rare Candy Obstagoon and net. Okay, that was not bad. We can net the Drizzle. Kind of have to. We can Rare Candy Obstagoon. Get that damage. Doesn't really matter. We're doing one fit. Yeah, we have to hit that. Yeah, okay. And we will Merciless Strike. I could Raihan next turn. I might have to give up another prize. I might try to do a turn where I go into Snorlax. I think I would like that, actually. Go into Snorlax for a turn. Gormandize. Maybe get energy on something so I have a pivot option for Charizard. I do need that because I am down two nets now. I'm going to need a pivot option for Charizard. So this is fine. We'll hit the Ice Rider. Force them to evolve. If they don't evolve here, we're vibing. Unfortunately, I don't have another Merciless Strike for next turn, though. 
They are okay. They're playing Cheryl. We're probably screwed. So if they're not playing a Cheryl, build a Vice Rider. That would suck. We'll see what they end up doing here. They do leave a Wind Sense here. They can get, yeah, going to Teleon. Italian might be hard to deal with too, to be honest. It's a bit more on the bulkier side. We'll see what they do. Maybe we should have been putting goon damage on the on the Sobbles too. I don't know. Hmm. Love the Kale with Sobble with opposite goons. Uh, goon ping damage. I don't think we're ever going to get to that point though. We had to have the Ice Rider because we had to get damage on it. We're praying they're not playing Cheryl. Like if they have Cheryl, it's really bad. Because they can Cheryl heal the Ice Rider and that'll make it even harder... To knock out. If we weren't getting KO'd, the option to go silence would have been cool, but they could just retreat to Palkia and just Star Portal and Subspace Swell Me, which would not have been fun. Yeah, I think we do need a turn. We try to go into Snorlax. We just don't have Snorlax in play, though. Probably something going to Manaphy. They're going to get a Melanie and a Level Ball, so they're just trying to chain as many Drizzles as they can. You need to find Rod. We're probably going to Drizzle for Cynthia's Ambition. Yeah, Drizzle for Cynthia seems pretty good here. Drizzle for Cynthia, draw cards, and then hope for the best. Give up Manaphy for a turn, get energy on selling for a pivot. We might attach Obstagoon, and we can attack this thing twice to knock it out of the Obstruct. We can also knock this thing out with the other Obstagoon, don't forget. The other Obstagoon kill the Ice Rider now, too, so we have that option available. And that's also something we might want to set up. I think the other Obstagoon's in the deck. And they have a big hand, too, so the ability wouldn't be bad. If they just keep building up a huge hand thanks to Melanie and Shady Dealing, I would not mind dropping that other Obstagoon on them to knock out Ice Rider. Again, we're hoping they're not playing a Cheryl. If they have a Cheryl in their deck, I mean, there's nothing I can really do about that. Like, I'm just kind of hoping they don't play a Cheryl. Mm, they got a Path. That is annoying. They are playing the Path build of Ice Rider. That is very annoying. They don't have Star Portal, but now I'm going to lose access to Charizard, so yay. So I got to make sure I'm saving Training Core. That is really annoying. Hopefully they play a Training Core at some point. Path is not good. They're playing Frost Moth. What? Bro, they have Frost Moth too? I have a bad feeling they might be playing Cheryl. I don't like this. I don't like this. new. No. Yeah, we need to make sure we save Training Core to get rid of the Path. Hopefully they only play one Path, but I don't know. They have two, yeah, of course, two Shady and Italian. They might be going with... Well, if they go Cheryl, they can't attack with Ice Rider, though. That's their big deal. They're going to play another Inteleon already. Surprised they're not saving that, but okay. They, okay. Their turn has been going on for like two minutes. These friggin' shady dealings. Yeah, I don't think they really had to play the Inteleon so early there. What are they going to grab? I guess Scoop Up Ned and like something else? I don't know. We're going to find out. Because if they do play Cheryl, they can't attack... I don't know. Belt and Quick Ball. That's fine with me. We're going to hopefully make him regret it. I could Marnie them too. Do have the Roxane in the deck, which is also an option if we ever need to use it. Okay, they're going to play another Evil Incense. Their turn is not over yet. There's Palkia V-Star. Yeah, Palkia might be a little scary. Again, we can knock it out with uh, the Goons and Charizard. Hopefully, can come in and knock it out. One more Goon Ping and the Palkia is dead to Charizard. So that's pretty cool. We can also set up Quick Shooting. They put a third energy on. I guess they have to get rid of... Yeah, they get rid of two to KO Ops to Goon. That's kind of cool, actually. They got rid of two energy to knock me out. Yeah, I think it's fine to go Manaphy. Like, I'm scared of Radiant Greninja, but, like... They, they path themselves, and, like, they can use Palkia right now. I guess they could play a Training Cord. I don't know. I don't really... I don't want to give Mobs to Goon. So I'm not going to be able to attack with it. Like, I could Rye onto it, and then, like, I'm in top deck mode. Like, depend if... If I draw an energy or, like, a supporter, then I'm not. But it's probably fine. I don't mind giving up a turn. Um, there's Marnie. Ooh. Put Marnie them here. We're definitely going to go Drizzle. I'm very tempted. I'm tempted to Marnie. I'm tempted to Marnie. Because I do want to try to get... Yeah, I want to get that Obstagoon with Wicked Ruler in play. Because we have everything set up to attack. Because that can one-shot. Yeah, I think we're going to go for it. We're going to grab Goon. Uh, Goon Ping the Palkia. If it lets me, there we go. Well, Marnie. I don't know if Marnie will get me there, though. It's my problem. Eh, it might. I have to lose my choice belt, though, this quick ball. Can't lose the Clara. Yeah, sorry, choice belt. Grab Sobble. And then hopefully next turn, can I not go? Because here's the thing. We have to Raihan. I need Rare Candy, Obstagoon, and I can Raihan for Twin Energy. Or I need to draw Twin Energy... Then I can 
a Rion for the Rare Candy or Obstacle Goon. So I need any of those outs here to pull this combo off. Hopefully losing Choice Spell doesn't come to bite us. Again, if they play Cheryl, we're kind of screwed. I'm really hoping they're not playing Cheryl. Oh, I could also, I could just Clara for the Obstacle Goon and knock him out Merciless Strike too. That's also an option. I guess we can do that too. But then I waste a Clara for Charizard. I don't know if I want to do that. So I don't know. We'll see. There's a Melanie. Probably going to go on Palkia. No Ice Rider. Yeah, we can knock him out the other Obstagoon, I guess. It's just, like, don't have... I'd have to pal pad Clara back. I don't know. Well, I don't know if I like that, but it might actually be fine to do that. It might be fine to do that. We'll see. We still have this guy in play, which we can still, I guess, save Ryan for. 90 damage is not a lot, though, but it could knock out Sobbles. I don't know. We'll see. Actually, not getting energy down this turn kind of sucks, too, the more I think about it. Yeah, we can probably just knock out the Ice Rider and then with the other Obstagoon. I'm fine with that, actually. We'll see we draw. Boss? And I guess that's the play, then. Grab you and grab you. Yeah, if they hit me with the, they hit me with the what do you call it, the Greninja. So be it. I've accepted my fate. I can drizzle for rare candy. I can grab Intellion actually and go rare candy net. Oh, shady dealing Intellion is prize. Look at that. I didn't realize. So we can get all the prizes then, even better. Okay, that's fine. We'll take the knockout here. I can't do Star Portal at the moment. Well, Goonping. <sighs> Maybe should have mentioned that. But if I can find the Raihan out, then that's good. I can hit the Palkia. It's already got 250. There's really no point of hitting Palkia. Hmm. I think it matters where I put this damage. I'm trying to think. I don't think so. I'll hit one of the Intellions, I guess. Could bench Charizard. I'm tempted to bench Charizard now, actually, believe it or not. Yeah, let's do it now. And then we'll Merciless Strike. All right, we get some prizes here, folks. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Anything good? Anything good? Nope. Inteleon. Yes, there we go. Bottom card's always good. Quick ball. Meh, maybe not. Shady Dealing is good, though. Shady Dealing is very, very good. Let's see if they can knock me out. They're down five energy, and they're down two Melanies, and they're down three buckets. They might not be able to KO me here. If they don't knock me out, we might have a really good shot of winning the game. Because I can boss knock out their Inteleon... And that's how they deal with Palkia. Or I can... Yeah, maybe. Or I can... Yeah, we'll knock out the Intellion, I think. Ooh, they do play a counter stadium. Okay, look at that. They do finally get rid of the stadium. That is good and bad at the same time. If they have... If they have the... Oh, that's scary. They knock out Obstagoon, though. I do have Raihan. They do now have Star Portal. I guess they could attack with... I guess they're Aqua Bulleting me in this turn, actually. Maybe they'll... Oh, they might be bossing my Charizard with Aqua Bullet. That might be what they're doing here. That's fine, though. Are they going to Rod? Sure. It's probably possible to deal with another Ice Rider, too, the more I think about it. If we can get quick shooting set up. Those little HP Sobbles might be looking pretty juicy. I can maybe Rod back the other Goon, Rare Candy Goon. Yeah, we'll see. This is going to be a close game. It's going to be very close. Let's see. They might be knocking at my Charizard here. They might not have a Shady Dealing, though. Maybe they're down three. Like, they've evolved three Drizzles. Maybe they don't have four. Maybe they prized it. Maybe it's not in their hand. Uh, we'll see. No, they do Melanie. They did find their other Melanie. Okay. If they go Palkia here, and they knock out my Obstacle with Palkia, then I'm just going to go Inteleon, knock out... Grab Raihan, knock out Palkia with Charizard. And then I just have Boss to knock out, like, a low HP Sobble or something. Maybe. I do want to get quick shooting, though, like I said. Well, the fact they Melody means they're not going to knock out my Charizard this turn, though. I mean, they could do Aqua Bullet here. That's not really going to do much for my opponent, though. Hmm. I mean, I get the idea. I want to get an energy and play this turn. I don't have Marnie, though. I right, we'll see what we do. I could just knock out the Inteleon, to be honest. I might just knock out the active. Wish I could attack with Charizard here, but I can't. There's no energy in the discard, right? We've only played one. I need an energy this turn. If I can get an energy this turn, I'll be very happy. Yeah, I really want to see an energy this turn. Yeah, an energy would make me happy. What am I drawing quick shooting either? But I just, mainly I want to see an energy this turn. That's like the big thing I want to find here is an energy. Yeah, I really want to see an energy. I don't really got to worry about Greninja because they're already on Star Portal. Yeah, I want to find energy here. What are they going to do? Like, where are they putting this 20 damage? 
Yeah, I'm surprised it went in Teleon. It's, I mean, I get maybe it's like, oh, they think I can't knock it out. When it jokes on them, I can. Can't play Roxanne. I don't have Marnie. Hmm. I don't know. I might, maybe I'll Inteleon for Net Palpad. That actually probably is fine, Net Palpad. Hmm. I don't know. I just really want to get energy and play this turn. I could go Palpad Level Ball. No, it doesn't do anything. I don't know. We'll see what we draw. Level Ball. New energy. Grab Linoon, though, which is nice. And then... Yeah, I guess we'll knock out the other Inteleon on the bench. The problem is, though, then I go Charizard. So I kind of have to kill the active. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go Shady Dealing for... A net... An Evo Incense. Yeah, I think I have to kill the active. The more I think about it. We'll grab Quick Shooting, Inteleon. We will net the Inteleon. Let's knock out the active, I think. It's fine. Yeah, let's kill the active. I'm fine with this. Just because, like, if I boss knock out Inteleon on the bench, they're just going to knock me out with that thing, and then, like, I don't have a way to respond KO it. Like, I have boss in hand, but I don't have the fire energy, so. Let's kill the Inteleon. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We have a lot of time now to win this game, which is good. And if my... I mean, they, they're forced in a weird spot where it's like, if they don't knock out Obstagoon, we have another turn of Goon thanks to Inteleon, but they knock out Charizard. If they don't knock out Charizard, we have Charizard to... But the only problem is, like, I don't have a fire energy, so I can't boss for game. This is going to be very close. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. It's going to be a close game. I still have time. I need a Pal Pad at some point. The big thing is I need to find Pal Pad. I need to get, like, a... Con See, not getting energy attachment is huge there because I need to get an extra energy in place so I have, like, a pivot option. That's another big issue. But if I can draw fire energy, I do just win. I guess, actually, we can still Raihan. So I think I should be dealing for Raihan. Dark energy to, like, something with a one retreat cost. Yeah, that actually might work out. I could also hit for 250, set up the other Obstagoon to attack. Do 180 to finish it off, or even obstruct wins. I may, you know what? Actually, maybe we have a better shot of winning than I thought with the with this play. I mean, my opponent's got to take four prizes. I got to knock out one, two prizer to win the game. Okay, they do boss me. Probably Charizard. That's fine. So now we need to pop out for sure. Okay. But that just gives us a turn to smack him with Obstagoon, though, which is really good. Energy. Bro, I would have wanted it in boss. Oh, I got no way to it. Ooh, I can't win this turn, can I? I can't move my active. I can get the Charizard back with... Rod. Oh, my active is stuck, though. Dang, bro. That's fine. All right, we're chilling. That's not... Honestly, it's not even... It's actually fine. It's fine. Um, What do I do, though? That's the question. Do I just smack the active? I could silence it. And then this makes them go into the other Ice Rider. This forces them to have another Melanie. It's not a bad play, to be honest. Okay, first thing, we'll Shady Dealing for Palpad. I mean, smacking the act, it's probably fine, right? I think a Potato Potato at that point. Yeah, Palpad these two. We will... Quick shooting. This, yeah, we'll just smack the active with merciless strike. I think it's fine. We put a fire energy, just in case we want to hit with the other obstacle. We can also retreat that training cord for the Charizard. Bench sobble and smack. And if they go into Palkia, then I okay. They could play a path. I still have my training cord though. I'm pretty sure training cords in the deck. I remember seeing it. Shh. Could be checkmate. If they do Cheryl, they can't attack again. So I think we're fine. I think we're fine. They have to have a fourth Melanie. I, I don't know if they're playing, but there's no way you're playing four Melanies with Palkia. I don't know if they're playing four Melanie. We're going to find out. They have a fourth Melanie. So be it. Show be it. If they have a fourth Melanie, I guess they can go Melanie, retreat, Ice Rider, attack. and I mean, I have boss in hand, though, but I don't think I can win. How much HP does this thing have left? 150. They had switch. There's another Ice Rider. Let's see if they have a way to build up another... They're down also five of their energies. 
I can go retreat Melanie training court. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. If they play four Melanie, so be it. They might not have shady dealing, though, either. Is there anything we got to consider? All right. What do they do? Air balloon. If they go into Palkia, then I do win. Ooh, but they do have a Marnie, though. Uh-oh. There goes our boss, and there goes our shady dealing. Okay. Do we have a way to win off of this? We do. We draw into... Okay. We drew training court, and we drew Evil Wind Sense. All right. We've been... We've been saved. All right, we still have him. And stay in the active, I can also win with the Wicked Ruler Obstagoon. Okay. They did Marnie us into a good hand. The question will be, does my opponent go into Palkia, though? They can't go into Ice Rider anymore now because... I mean, I guess they, they could knock me out with Pierce. But then I just win with Charizard because we do 250. So I think that's probably wrapped up. Can I have boss for game if they try to hide for a turn? I just boss anyways. So I think we checkmated them here, folks. We even if they go like if they go Palkia, it doesn't matter because Charizard KOs it. If they put a big charm on, if they could put a big charm on, then that's I can still go Clara for Zard plus Goon and then hit for the 30 damage from the Goon, the Untamed Shell Goon. But they stay in the active, and that is G to the G's. I don't gotta win with Charizard here. I can just go with the Obstagoon, baby. We can just win with Knuckle Impact. Why not? Go out on a whim. We just knuckle impact for game, and there you have it, folks. The Obstagoon Squad takes down Ice Rider Palkia in a very intense back-and-forth game there. That was close, for sure. We even get a present. What is it going to be? 50 coins? Let's go. All right, let's try out the Goon Squad deck again here. Looks like we are going to go first. We're up against Cool Hand Luke. That name is very familiar. That's a very familiar name. All right, we are going to take a mulligan, kind of giving away what we're playing. That's fine, though. We will see what we open up with here. We get a Sobble, a Linoon. Quick ball. We're up against Reggie's. All right, Reggie's is very, very good. Um, I guess he knows I'm playing Obstagoon. Um, but Reggie's is a good matchup. I don't think they really... I don't think there's a real good Reggie my opponent can use here to stop me from using Obstruct. So all we have to do is set up the Obstagoon. We're chilling. We do have a pretty okay hand to pull this off. I mean, we already have Hurricane Obstagoon. Ooh, but they might have Yellhorn, though. Something we gotta watch out for, I guess. We just have the one Obstagoon in the deck. Okay. We do have the Wicked Ruler one. Don't think we ever want to use that. We do have Radzar. We do have Big Paracel. I'll see how it goes. Yeah, we do have the turn two Obstagoon. I just don't have... I don't really have much else to do outside of that. It's probably better to just go Drizzle and just evolve Linoon. But we could get targeted bolted, so maybe not then. There's a heavy ball getting played. Let's see if the heavy ball gets my opponent here. There's Reggie Rock. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I guess that is a problem. If my opponent's playing Yellhorn, that is something we have to watch out for. Don't really have a good way to get around it. But uh, honestly, if we can just set up, I mean, we can just take knockouts manually. Probably not a big deal. We'll have to see. The best top deck here would just probably just be an energy. If we can draw an energy, then that'd be okay. I need to get Manaphy too, because we can obviously they can targeted bolt me. They could have it next turn. Could get Marnied too. There's a world where my opponent does play a Marnie here, I guess, which is something we gotta also consider. Yeah, I might just go Drizzle for Cynthia. Oh, they're gonna escape rope. That's good that they play that now, actually. Because that's one less out they have to the Obstagoon's obstruct. Which is good. Because they obviously could have played Escape Rope to reset up. They can no longer do that. They're just going to Regigate here. What did they put on? They put on a Twin Energy? Okay. Probably going to grab Reggie Drago, I imagine. Yeah, I don't like being stuck in the active now. Oh, there's Manaphy. So I could go Rare Candy Obstagoon. I think we kind of have to go Drizzle. Drizzle for Cynthia. It's unfortunately the only good draw supporter we have at the moment. We're just going to kind of have to pray... And we get something good off Cynthia for three. It's only three cards. Not great. Unfortunately, it's the only good draw card I have here in this scenario. Oh, wow. We actually got it. We got we got the Energy Obstagoon. I could get Marnied, I guess. And now we just pray that we don't get KO'd here. All right. What are the chances my opponent does knock my Linoon out? They don't have any energy in the discard pile. They have the Regielecki in play that only snipes the bench. So they have to try to they have to high roll the Auroras here, I think. And if my opponent can't knock out my night noon, we do have the Obstagoon here that we can use to come in and hopefully do some damage to my opponent. We'll have to see, though. We'll see what my opponent decides to do. 
There's an Ultra Ball. Oh, boy. Is there an Aurora Energy in the hand? There is. Oh, no. Oh, God. They lose a Scoobnet. That means my opponent probably has a good card in their hand because the Aurora Scoobnet combo. Yikes. Okay, that's not good. They might have me. All of my opponent needs is another Aurora Energy and a Reg Ice, and they can knock out my Linoon. This is not good. If that's a research, we're in trouble. That's definitely a research. So they got rid of Scuba Net, which tells me they have a supporter. Oh. Maybe not. Wait, Reggie Gate. Okay. So we can go Ob's to Goon. Now, where do I put this 30 damage? I think we want to maybe hit the uh hit this thing. Level ball is a good draw, too. We can go ahead and grab um. I guess another goon, I guess. Try to set up double ops to goon. Knock out the active, and then... Yeah, let's we'll knock out the active. That's fine. I guess that, that one card in their hand has to be good, because they didn't discard that with the Ultra Ball. They could have went Scuba Net into Reggie Drago, so I don't know why my opponent did do that. So that tells me my opponent's got something going on. We'll see, though. We did get a Quick Ball at the prizes. Nothing real special there. We can maybe Quick Ball our top deck away, depending on what it is, but we'll see. I think we just chill for a bit. We do have Raihan, Rare Candy, in hand. So we had the Ops to Goon out. There's O-Rod. Maybe that's what my opponent had in their hand. I think it was still always correct to go Reggie Drago, though. I don't know. Again, it comes down to whether or not they have the Yellhorn. And if they find the Yellhorn, that is the only thing I'm a little scared of is Yellhorn. But if I can maybe establish two Ops to Goons, we'll be chilling. Though I did prize my other Obstruct Ops to Goon. My other Obstruct Goon is prized. So we'll see how that goes. But, I mean, if I can just take prizes... I can probably win the prize race also. That's also something that we can probably do is win the prize race. With like Radzard, we have the other Obstagoon, which is good. Both the two other Obstagoons are also attackers that do damage. So we do have a lot going for us here. Actually, you know what? The other Obstagoon with Knuckle Impact might actually not be bad. It does have a lot of HP. I think it, yeah, it's weak to grass too. I don't think they have a way to one-shot it as easily. So maybe that's an option too is using the other Obstagoon. So we can put on a lot of pressure with this guy, and then, like, we can probably win the prize trade. Even if they do play Yellhorn at some point. As long as we're just taking prizes, like, it's probably fine. So we'll see. All right, my opponent does have a three-card hand. Did my opponent find a supporter card? What am I getting quick shooting going here, too? And that's something I want to set up is also the quick shooting. Quick shooting will be really good. We can set up damage. Reggie, like he's got 90 HP. If I could draw a boss, I would probably boss KO this. And, all right, let's see what we draw. Another Quick Ball. I'm just going to Obstruct. I would play the Quick Ball, but I don't want a Quick Ball away Quick Ball if I'm going to need it for, like, Charizard. I'm just going to attack him. I'm just going to hold. I don't want to waste my Quick Balls like that. I'm just going to save it. I could have played it, but this is fine. They haven't done much, so if my opponent doesn't have the out here, I mean, it's not a big deal. You know, if they just don't have an out to Obstagoon, I don't really have to do much else, I feel like. Like, you can just sit here and do our thing for a bit. You know what I'm saying? I think they should be trying to do uh, Sonar here, right? They can Sonar back the Escape Rope with Reggie Alecki's first attack. But no, they're just going to go into Gigas. Do they have a boss? Maybe they could boss something here. That'd be interesting. Because, yeah, I do think they should maybe be trying to go for the uh, Sonar here. They can Sonar Rope back. I mean, I guess we're going to kill the Alecki, but I don't know. They they probably should be getting the rope here with the Reggie Alecki. But they're not doing any damage to me. Gigas can't even one-shot my obstacle. The only Pokemon that can one-shot me is Reggie Drago, another rare candy top deck wall. We're just going to keep doing Obstruct here. Again, if they have Yellhorn, so be it. But I'm drawing, I'm drawing cards that I don't really want to discard with my Quick Ball, so. But yeah, we can just sit here and Obstruct, and if we're as long as we're taking prizes, right, we can get ahead in the prize trade. Even if they do have a counter to my Obstruct, we can still probably out prize, like take all the prizes. That's my plan. We can serve our resources. We should be okay. But my opponent actually scoops the game. I guess they can't handle the Galarian Obstagoon after all. There you go. We take that dub. Reggie is a popular deck out there, even if Gift Energy is still bugged. You know, Obstagoon, we take those. All right, trying out the Obstagoon deck here. What do we got in this match? We are going to go first, which is nice. And we mulligan. So you're playing against. My opponent's got a fire deck box. Might be a fire deck. Could be Charizard Arceus. That could be interesting. All right, we'll see how this Mulligan goes. What do we got? A goon start. Hmm. Mulligan three times. Holy moly. I don't know how I did that. All right. Not the worst hand ever. We do have a level ball. We can get a Sobble. It's just the hand is just kind of 
kind of there's an Entei. Ooh. Hmm. I don't like the odds of us living. Obstruct Obstagoon looks to be pretty good here. They're not playing Charizard V Star. Obstruct Obstagoon is probably the best attacker. There's not much I can do at the moment. This hand is just kind of bad. We're going to have to just go Cynthia next turn. If I had an energy and we survived the turn, I maybe could have had a turn to obs Obstruct, but don't look like we're going to get there. We're probably going to get KO'd, to be honest. Wouldn't be surprised if my opponent. Oh my god, they play Crushing Hammer. Okay. That is really annoying. They have Crushing Hammer, which can get around Obstruct. They just pass. Really? They don't have a KO? Alright. I find that hard to believe. I would love to go into Snorlax here, to be honest. That'd be pretty ideal. But I just can't... Can't move my active at the moment. That's fine. We'll just quick ball away Clara for another Galarian Zigzagoon. You can put 10 on the uh, Mew. They don't net it. And I'll just pass. I guess I could have maybe went, like, Cynthia Retreat into... You know, June Energy Retreat into Snorlax. I think I just want to get another Goon, though. We can go Quick Shooting next turn. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. I don't think I'm going to be able to attack with the Obstagoon next turn, though, which is a bit of a problem. I could use the other Obstagoon and shut off Burning Rondo. I don't think it's really going to do anything, though. But we'll see. They have a huge hand. I mean, they definitely have a KO here, obviously. There's no way, right? No shot. They have a Marnie. Okay, that's annoying. I do lose my Inteleon and my Cynthia, which actually kind of sucks. Um, can they whip the knockout? I doubt it. We'll see what we get off Marnie. Okay, we got a, we got a level ball. That's good. They are playing Charizard. Okay. I think that's a KO. They should be doing 100. All right, that's fine. I don't really know what to do. Fortunately, I don't play Water Energy for Inteleon. But we do have the Radiant Zard, which is still really good. We can still attempt to pull off the... Uh, play want to do grab another goon goon ping that we want to try to merciless strike him i guess don't think i need that we'll burn that all right it's fine we'll go inteleon it's actually yeah i, I needed the inteleon i said i got hyped over level bomb i go like, oh, i actually do need an evil incense we got lucky we drew that all right um what do I, I guess, like, I could just go Cynthia Rare Candy and try to high roll the Evo Incense. Sure. If I can high roll the Obstagoon here, that'd be pretty sweet. It's kind of my only play, and I whiffed it, yeah. It's fine, I got Snorlax, it's all good, we can Gormandize. That does suck, though, that we whiffed. I was hoping to not whiff there, but it is what it is. I'm gonna fall back another turn, which kind of sucks. We'll quick ball again. We'll grab another Galarian Goon, I guess. I want to get quick shooting in play. We'll set the Charizard. We'll set up Charizard, and then we'll just Gormandize. I could have played Palpad, but I'm going to hold on to it. We don't need to play Palpad yet. We finally get the Evil Incense for a candy. Okay. Maybe I should fit the active Entei, then. Hit it for 10, 210. Uh, maybe it really mattered. When it really mattered. I would like to do Obstruct, but I can't. Well... Not with Crushing Hammer. Yeah, see, that's the problem. The fact they're playing Hammer is actually really annoying. Because I would love to go into Rare Candy, Obstruct Obstagoon here. And force him to go Charizard. But I can't do that at the moment because my opponent plays Crushing Hammer. So if I, like, if I go Raihan into, like, Obstruct, it's just not going to really matter, right? It's just kind of, it's just not going to do anything. I need to get Quick Shooting in play, too. That's why I need to get in play, too, is Quick Shooting. I think we're just going to go Silence, to be honest. But they oh, they play Bird Keeper. They're probably just going to have the Switch anyways. I don't think even going the other Obstagoon is worth it. I think, really, we're just going to be playing a game here with Radiant Charizard. That's probably what this comes down to. We'll see. I don't know. Like, I could go Silence, but they have a huge hand. They play Bird Keeper. It's not a good idea. Unless I can Marnie them, which I can't. Oh, maybe, actually. That Scoobnet might actually let me pull this off. Okay, well, let's go. Do I have Marnie? I do. I could. Okay, so I guess what I could do is we can go Rare Candy into the Silence Obstagoon, and then I can Marnie them, and then pray that they don't have a way to attack me. Like, maybe that's the play. Corp, they don't just switch into the Charizard. I don't really see any other play I can really make, unfortunately. And I think we will Palpad now. I'm going to put back the Clara and the Cynthia. Could play Training Court. 
Get an energy in the deck. I don't hate that. I don't really want to give him... Nah, I'll just Marnie. It's fine. I don't really want to give him a training core. They can have training core base in and get like two energy. for. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. Um, ooh, interesting Marnie. Three rare candies. Well then. Hmm. I could net goon here. Does it matter? I can't kill the end. I think we're just going to silence and just hope for the best. Silence and pray. And then next turn, I would love to get quick shooting in play. I really want to get quick shooting established if I can. We're just going to hope we don't get KO'd here. If my opponent knocks me out, then rip in the chat. We're just going to hope they don't have a KO. They have a four card hand. They have fleet footed. We're just going to hope that our Obstagoon does not get knocked out. He ran. Oh, he ran can heal. Yo, he ran is actually kind of scary. What the heck? I actually don't know if we can stop that. Okay, they do find the Magma Basin. We can play that too with our Charizard, don't forget. They have an Ultra Ball. Oh no, they might have a Crobat. Oh, well actually Crobat's okay. It's a boss target, I guess, but if they have a Crobat, that's bad. Okay, they don't. All right, cool. My, my little strategy worked. They're stuck. That's good. They're stuck. All right, that's what I was hoping they would be is stuck. All right, this is good. 190 HP, I'm doing 150. So we just have to silence them again. I could go quick shooting, which I don't really have to do, though. That was a good draw. Yeah, so I'm going to... I could also go Rare Candy Obstagoon, though, too. I could go Rare Candy Obstagoon. I think that does KO the Entei, right? Put 30 on it. If I put 30 on this, it would go down to 160. Scoobnet Goon. Knock it out with Merciless Strike. So I could knock out the Entei this turn. I want to go Radiant Zard the next turn, which I unfortunately cannot do. Yeah, I kind of like taking the knockout, but they're in top deck mode. But they get to see two cards. If they just find an energy, they're going to knock me out. No, I think we're going to have to take the knockout here. I think it's fine. Could go Shady Dealing. They might, they might have Marnie me. I could go Shady Dealing here. Shady Dealing for Evolution, Incense, like Quick Ball. Then net that. So I would like, because they'll knock me out, and I want to be able to Raihan. But the problem is I have to play the net, and I don't have a pivot. We still got to go Shade Alien, I think. Yeah, I think we still got to go for this. We are getting two prizes, don't forget, either. That is the other thing, too. We are going to get two prizes here, which helps out quite a bit. I guess we'll grab... We'll grab Quick Ball. I think it's still fine to get Quick Ball. We can also... Maybe play the... I don't know if we'll play the Basin, but we'll see. We'll grab the Quick Ball, I think. I could get the other Obstagoon, too. Do 180. It's not going to matter, though. I think we just... Yeah, we're just going to take the key on the active here. It's fine. Go Rare Candy. If I could do double Obstagoon if I really wanted to. It's not a bad idea, either. Yeah, we can net the active and do, like, double Obstagoon. This does make our Cynthia stronger. Um... Could Obstagoon here. I don't think I really need to kill the Mew, unfortunately. The 30 damage isn't bad. You can put 30 on the Charizard. Don't have a way to one-shot it, though. So there's, like, kind of no point. That's kind of the problem. I think we're just going to Merciless Strike. I'm just going to take a knockout. I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold. I, do, like, I don't know. I don't really see a point. Ooh, there we go. We got double. Okay. Okay, Roxanne. We can play Roxanne. Roxanne might actually get us into the Charizard, actually. We got double Obstagoon. So I guess I can go double Obstagoon then. I can knock out the Mew. I can put 60 on this, put it down to 210 HP. But again, I just don't have a way to knock out the Charizard. So I think I want a Cynthia here then, right? What would I even promote though? I need to get... I don't know. If I go double Obstagoon, I can't move. All right, we'll have to bone the Inteleon. All right, what do we draw? Another Cynthia. There's a lot of duplicates in our hand. I mean, I guess we'll go double Obstagoon. I can knock out the Mew also if I really wanted to. I can kill Mew here, which isn't a bad idea either. Knock out the Mew. It doesn't really matter if I put this down to 200 and... If I put 60 on this, put it down to 190, like, it doesn't really matter. It's not like I can use the other Obstagoon. 
I'll knock out the Mew, I guess, sure. We'll take... We'll take some prizes. We'll take a prize. If we can get a Fire Energy here, we can maybe attack with Charizard. Let's see. Sobble. Yeah, I don't think he even had a Fire in there. Sobble's good, though. We'll take it. Um, I guess we'll Cynthia and see what we got here. I think we whiffed. We are very close, though. I think we whiffed, though. I don't think I can pull it off. So I can go Quick Ball for Radiant Zard. Base into the Radiant Zard. I need to play one more energy to attack with it, though. I don't have another energy, so I did whiff. No, actually, no, I think I do, because I can go Training Court. Okay, no, I think I do have it. No, yeah, I do have it. Yo, Obstagoon, let's go. Yeah, we can go do this. Base into the Charizard. And then... We can net, right? And then we can Shady Dealing. I still need to get Quick Shooting in play, but this will work too. So I grab Training Cord and then Training Cord plus Pause. I'm going to be stuck in the active for a turn, so I guess we got to deal with that. I already have the Clara in the deck, though. Sure, I'll grab Training Cord boss. Why not? Sure. Do this, do this. And they replay Basin, that helps us too. All the better. No Combustion Blast for the KO. Nice. So we did pull it off. Look at that. All right, what do we got of the prizes here? Level Ball and the bottom card is a Dark Energy. Okay. I also have Raihan. I could obstruct and knock this thing out, but I need to get... I don't have any goons left. I have the Rod. Okay, they do get rid of the Stadium. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think I could... Yeah, no, I think I can win. So they're going to hit me for 90... I can't move this turn. There's quick shooting. There's no rare candies left, though. Okay, so that's fine. So what we can do is we can go attach ops to goon. Shady dealing, because I do need to set up quick shooting. And then we'll grab... Does it matter? Not really. I don't want to grab Ryan Because if we get Marnie, I want to draw the Ryan. I think, honestly, we can just get Choice Belt. Like, all those cards I want to draw, except for maybe, like, Choice Belt. Could Belt the Obstagoon. I think I'd rather save that, just in case. No, it's passed. It's fine. We'll pass. We'll pass. And then next turn, I can go Quick Shooting. I can Clara... Basin win the game. Okay, so I think as long as well, they crush. I don't know. We'll see. They play a crushing hammer. Maybe, maybe they can stop me. Do they have a Marnie? Do they have anything? A Marnie would be annoying. Marnie, but if they Marnie me, I can draw into Raihan and or Clara. Okay, nope. They just hit me for ninety, and that is GG's. Um, we can just win with the Galarian Obstagoon here. We don't even have to. Yeah, we just went with Obstagoon. We just go quick shooting Obstagoon, knock out the Moltres, and take the dub. Versus my opponent's interesting Firebox deck. It looks like they ran out of steam at the end here, but we honestly pulled off some pretty insane plays there with Charizard and Obstagoon. That was pretty sick. We pulled off some pretty crazy plays in this, in this, in this, um, in that match there with the uh, Charizard Obstagoon combo that one turn where we knocked out Mew and Charizard. Yeah, that was pretty dope. That was pretty sick. The Radiant Zard is really pulling its weight in this deck. That'd be for me on the video on my Obstagoon deck here with those matches. As you can see, the deck is really cool and has some pretty cool plays you can make with the three different Obstagoons in the deck. All utilize different scenarios. And of course, that late game Charizard is really nice as you can use it to apply some pretty good pressure on the opponent, which is good. And the deck actually impressed me quite a bit. It was a lot of fun to play, and it ended up being better than I expected it to be with the power of the three different goons. And even the goon ping damage combines really well with the Charizard's attack damage output. But that'll be for me on Chase Show video. If y'all enjoyed Chase PC Show video, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, scan below. Help me on the road to reaching 35,000 subs. Make sure to check out Car Cabin down below. If you get any codes, use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord. Make sure to go subscribe to my second channel now. I am, uh, I did create a second channel, which I'm gonna post extra content to. Um, so definitely don't want to miss out on that. So make sure you all subscribe to my second channel. Uh, it'd be great. They appreciate it. Check out Shuffle Squad down below. And of course, check out the Shuffle Pod down below too. We just did an episode with Zapdos TCG. And every Thursday, a new podcast episode does go live. So yeah, that'll be for me. And I'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye.